Hello and welcome to the NNC Farm and Garden DIY, DIY Passive Solar Greenhouse Build. So today we got the uh, rafters on the back roof, on the north side of the roof over here. We got almost the entire front strapped. I've got one course of strapping to go there. We got this end wall finished. I uh, got, got that finished yesterday in a horrible windstorm. And uh, we got the tarp, the lumber tarps up on the back wall and uh, we got one course of wire to put up there. We've got to uh, strap this end wall which is going to take some longer screws. And then um, once we have this wall strapped, that last row of wire on, then we can uh, build the exterior wall on the out, on the uh, east side of the greenhouse. And then the big thing, then we can finish the outside with wall finish, uh, house wrap it, and then wall finish. And then the big next big thing is to fill this with uh, soil all the way up. We've got uh, another 12 feet to go. Uh, 12 feet by 2 feet by 20 feet long. So it's quite the quite the undertaking. We've got to take some bracing out now that we've got bracing on the back. And those boards there can come out. And we got these rafters up on the north side. So tomorrow we're going to get that hall strapped and get ready for metal and uh, get that end get that uh, all finished up um, and then we have to build a uh, all right as you can see right there we're gonna build a wall uh, straight down here there's, there's gonna be a wall here and then all those ends uh, once we have that all, all uh, uh, built we'll take a saw to those ends and, and uh, saw them off gotta fix some wire there and uh, well dig out for IBC, uh, IBC tanks behind the greenhouse. We've got one IBC tank right here. And let me just go around to the front of the greenhouse so you, you can possibly see what I'm talking about about that wall. Uh, I've got some backfilling left to do. So there's going to be a wall uh, right even with those purling. Um, it's going to go from the roof to the ground. Uh, that will be an independent wall from the inside. So the inside of the greenhouse, you can see here, is one cavity. Um, no joins, no connections. Basically two independent structures, which will allow us to roll a uh, insulated, insulated blanket um, down in the night and up in the day to uh, gain heat and keep that heat during the night. So yeah, so we've got another wall to put in here. Uh, that pipe there goes back in, that's where we're gonna route our water. We're talking about putting another IBC tote here and possibly going a couple high. Let's go into the greenhouse. Well, welcome to the greenhouse. That is a pile of extrude or polystyrene insulation. Each sheet is about R9 uh, and each end wall is getting two layers of that. So we'll have end walls of R18. Hopefully that's enough. So there's our climate battery. And uh, you can see in here we've got tarps and wire. And then we, I don't know if you can see those wires that are coming across here. We've wired the um, wire together um, to, hold the structure, to hold the structure. So. Um, little by little, every day, um, I want to say we, but it's, um, my wife, Nancy, she is moving this dirt. I think she moved all of this dirt. So we're ready to put another course of, uh, wire on here, um, and go up on this side. So that'll take us to about, oh, that level there, another 32 inches up and wire those all together and fill that. And, you know, after a few weeks, we'll probably have that end wall built uh, and all filled with earth. So when you come into the greenhouse, let's just exit back out. When you come into the greenhouse, this is where you'll be walking. Um, we'll have a walk, a central walkway down here, and then we'll have 30 inch beds running the perimeter 
of the greenhouse. And then uh, in the middle, we'll have 30 inch beds. And we're gonna have 18 inch walks, or this middle walkway is gonna be 24 inches. Or to start with, we'll go with a 32, and then we're gonna have a uh, three foot wide uh, spot here uh, by nine feet, basically for kids to play in the wintertime. And then we're gonna have a 18 inch walkway this way and 18 inch walks going off there. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So tomorrow, finish the purling and then we get going on this end wall. And um, once we got that end wall done, then we can uh, get it all ready to start doing the exterior finish, which is the back roof, roof metal and then um, uh, lumber and the finish that we're going to be doing is basically that barn board finish right there and let it naturally weather like that stuff uh, give it a nice rustic look to fit and match or match the rest of the buildings around here so that is a barn that we built about four years ago now and uh well it's got an amalgamation of junk around it from the uh, construction and moving and toys and uh, so and once that's all done then we need to get going on doing some finish work on our covered fire pit we're gonna put a couple um, raised beds in here terracing that off and then we are going to pound some posts and put some uh, wire along here and protect that uh, that edge uh, so this is all going to be terraced hill. So um, there's going to be some, uh, ultimately some feed bins going down here, and a couple feed bins up here, and this all, all in here might also end up being garden. We will see. So that is our passive solar greenhouse build. Uh, it's come a long way in three weeks from locating those to having this greenhouse so we're looking forward to getting it done the end is in sight a couple more days and we'll have this all wrapped up and uh, ready to go so thank you very much for watching like share comment and uh, yeah tune in to see what we're up to uh, later this week to see uh, how far we get on uh, our DIY passive solar greenhouse build